Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mighty Number no. 9 Backer 789 Edition. That's just gonna be my intro. I have decided. Let's choose our first level. Vermilion Destroyer was added to the stage lock screen. That's also a backer reward. I don't know if that's purchasable DLC at the moment or not. But I do have this. Which I think has to do with Ray, who is like the, the proto man of this game. If you haven't figured it out yet, like every character is just completely analogous to a Mega Man character. Power plant, mine. Let's let's start off with good old fire Pyrogen Man. I think he's voiced by Matthew Mercer. Explain. What's that? Mighty number one, Pyrogen, has been sighted near this oil refinery. Prevent a large scale inferno. Okay. You are all yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then. Let's kill him. It's been a while since I played a, an action platformer. Now I think about it, well, I've been playing a lot of RPGs lately, so I'm hyped to just Go. kill some shit. A fire wielding robot running wild at an oil refinery. I don't like the look of this at all. Not exactly. Gonna have to memorize. How many hits each of these guys take so I can just, uh, oh, damn it, get maximum cell capacity. Not really sure what that does. Besides the score thing. Okay, two hits for that guy. It's like one hit for this dude or something. Yeah, it is one hit. Okay, I do want to, before I forget, uh, change. What's action shift? I don't know, but I want it on R2. Or R1, because I want. What you call it? Oh, that was weird. Thought it just crashed straight up. I want Dash on R R2. Oh, hey, look at that. So that's what that does. This is the. Uh, the form shifty. Oh. Gotcha. Anywho, let's use. I'm gonna have to try what the other ones do after. Can you select that from the options menu? Sorry, guys, I just. You know, I've never played this game before, so. I want to. Oh, is that changing what. Oh, I get it. So, re. Selection, I guess, is like. A f like the weapon select screen, and that's changing what button it's on. I got you. Okay. So if I press circle, yeah, I just turn into Rainbow Man form. I got you. And then triangle sets me back. Now I have. Now I'm used to having dash and R1. So now I keep pressing my thumb on it. Or finger, not thumb. And I play with those. Weird claw grip strats. Those people are weird. I don't trust them. Sorry if you guys can hear my buttons in the uh, back room. But you just gonna have to deal with it. Oh god, that's on fire. I'm gonna take a lot of hits. Because I am a very risky. Oh, one more? No, two more. Bring it up. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't have it yet. Nah. I don't want to die, mommy. Please go hit a checkpoint. If there is one. Pyro! Burn! The world must burn! Pyro, wait! Warning. Multiple incoming robots detected. What? Where? Right there, apparently. Oh. The background. It is confirmed. Pyro has oh, gone rogue as well. Sex shit. You must hurry. And of all things to kill me, it's the thing that can't attack. Do I get sent back to the beginning of the level? No, thank god. I think. This thing here is a checkpoint. Can I skip this? Yeah, I can. Cool. 
Okay, so I want to kill... Not you, for the power boost, which is going to give me this. It looks like I can just pretty much one-shot everyone now. Which is going to be handy. And, of course, Brenda. Man, always going to miscount. Ooh, you sack of crap. I think the self-absorption rates are a little more forgiving than they were in the beta, but I could be misremembering that. Damn it. Always off by one. Always and forever. And look at me struggle. I gotta get those points, man. You sack of shit. Can't remember that fire since the kill, but I don't want to find out. Bring it on. There's no duck either. I don't remember that. I remember that being a a jump. That, uh, oh shit. Okay. So okay. I remember these being rough jumps. I remember that being dumb. I don't think I actually finished this level, or maybe I did. I can't remember. Thanks, bro. I have a plushie of you. Give that to my girlfriend. Ah. Scared. At least you died. You're a loser. Here we go. Just want to see if there's anything. Yep, there he goes. I knew it! But now I'm fast. Alright, let's try and outrun the thing. Because. Wow! A, that's instant kill, and B, I was dead out of invincibility. All right, video game. That's how you want to play it. I'm not going to try to outrun you. I guess that was an extra life they gave me there. I didn't actually check to see if it was an extra life. I'm super scared now. Oh god. Don't ask me why I did that. I'm like, I can make it, even though I was already starting to fall. If it's not starting to fall, I can dash past it. It's also kind of hard to tell where, in relation to the background, those things are. Exactly shit. You know what I mean? I'm not alive, so I'm going to play careful now. I don't want to restart this level. I remember reading the IGN review of this game, which is a good review, don't get me wrong. One of the things they criticized was the difficulty and, and like the limited lives and having to restart the level. That just sounds like typical Mega Man stuff, so I don't know, man. Oh god. That said. Restarting levels is going to be a pain in the ass. Maybe I just increase my life count. Uh, maybe just for the sake of the LP and having our playing for increase my life count. Oh yeah, yeah. Depending on how long it takes me to get all the way back there, I might cut back to where I was if I lose all my lives at restart a level. We'll see. What? I hate you twice. What? You got hit by it. I saw you recall from getting hit by the thing. Oh, okay, so if you absorb enough cell, okay. if you absorb enough cell, then you get an HP recover thing, which you can 
see in here, but also if you just click the touchpad, it'll do shit. Just work. Okay, so if you dash on the ground, you're tied to whatever ground you're dashing on. So if the ground is falling when you dash on the ground, you're going to fall with the thing. Does that make sense? Whatever. What the shit? Yeah, I'm definitely cutting something out of this. Or maybe. I don't know. This is the first. God damn it. Chris, can you mute that? Okay. What the... I don't know, man. I feel like I should be grabbing that ledge. Stop rushing. Oh, they're pitying me. Thanks. Are these permanent? They're permanent now. You're assholes. Oh, I hate the pity system. Makes me feel inadequate. Give me that. I hate you. See, he got hit by the thing, but what the? It, it. It's very finicky about grabbing ledges, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna six over here. Go. Not sure what he's because I wanna make a point. Oh. Thank you for the extra lives and all the pity. I'm gonna need it. To lives. Let's go. Don't know if I cut the run back out because I died like 17 trillion times, but I have all the stuff because the game took pity on me. I wonder if they're going to reset my lives once I go to a new stage. I hope not. Uh, okay, is this where I died before? Yeah, it is. Oh, I was afraid of... I was like, yeah, the correct way to do this seems to be just dash as fast as possible and you'll be cool, but I was scared of getting hit and getting knocked down, you know? Alright, boss time. It only took ten years. You... Why you not burn? Why you not... Burn! Uh-oh. Burn! Pyro crash! And you burn! Is Pyro crash name move yours? Okay. Uh, I did play... What is it called? Mighty Gunvolt? The, like, 8-bit 3DS download game. So, I fought you and ate it before? It's a weird concept. You're an asshole, Mr. Grinch. No! I hate it when you jump away from it. Like get you in the thing with your... This is a whole level of learning experience. From bosses to levels being nine kinds of bullshit. Okay. Uh, dash the, no, you are an asshole. I don't expect to ever get 100% self absorption on you. Okay, it's not what I expected you to do. No, oh, I got it. I believed in myself and I got it.
Tell you how many times I died, that's nice. It's always nice. I only got a B. But I got sick powers! Pyrogen reselection. I can't tell if it's saying all this out loud, so I'm gonna say it. I had the volume so low just so it doesn't bleed into the mic. Jiminy! And a boy back! Come on, Will! Show a bit of enthusiasm! Perhaps you should show a bit of restraint, Dr. Sonda. This is only the beginning. Cole, please transfer Beck's assimilated cell data over to my terminal. I want to begin my analysis and see if I can isolate the root of the malfunction. Right away, Professor White. Incidentally, Sonda, I caught a bit of news on the way here. The president of Cherry Dynamics was insisting the source of the incident is Dr. Blackwell. What? Poppycock! Blackwell is a genius, but he, he couldn't possibly be behind this. You must admit, there are similarities to his last plot to shut down every robot in America. You mean how they both originated at the Battle Coliseum? But he was caught and arrested. Even Blackwell isn't clever enough to pull this off from inside a maximum security prison. Indeed. I wonder why Mr. Graham seems so certain. Well, enough of that. There's data to sift through. Sonda, can you continue assisting Beck? Absolutely. Uh, let me know as soon as you discover anything. Okay. It's up to us to stop those. Well, let's see. We got new tips. Let's see if they have anything useful to say, actually. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Type accelerator you would use to change depending. Oh, right. Yeah, there's, there's like crouch acceleration, there's super fall, and there's also like weird like jump back attack. By winning battles against rampaging by numbers, gaining access to the power of reselection. I keep wanting to say reflection. Press the least selection button when the select cursor and anchor cursor overlap will turn you into your normal state. I don't know what that exactly is trying to tell me, but hey. Technical bonuses, challenge. Challenges set us trials with specific conditions needing to clear them. Clear conditions come in many forms and are restrictions such as being unable to attack. Okay. We'll try those after we finish the main levels, I think. Mega Cell. Sentry Mine. Horizontal. Press the attack button to lay mine in that location. Look for enemies in the direction you laid it and shoots a rapid fire beam. Press the attack button together with up or down to lay a mine that searches for enemies vertically. Hold the action shift button to stop the mines from attacking. So that would be what's on R1 now. You can lay up to three mines at a time. Laying a fourth mine will make the old mine disappear. Also, if you lay a mine so that it overlaps with another mine, the first mine will disappear. Excel shoot effects. Don't know exactly what that means. Oh, is that when I'm shooting while I'm dashing? Increased attack, penetrating shots, one additional mine, less energy use. And we just got pyrogen. Fire explosion. Hold the attack button to gather power around you to release to unleash an explosion. A small meter appears while powering up, increasing the power and diameter of the explosion at each level. You can use this attack while hanging from a wall or dangling from a skyhook, but beware if the meter fails completely you overheat, losing the ability to move for a while after attacking. Excel effects. Increased attack, faster charge times, less energy use. Gotcha. Left damage in general. Each boss has an attack they're weak against, so it's Mega Man. Cool. Attack and accelerate the spot enemy, try to attack. Enemies will weaken and become unstable. Yeah, okay. So, there used to be... Like, the original pitch for this game was there would be 
transformations from regular enemies by uh, doing the accelerate dash, but that seems to not be in this game. In the final product. The VR training program I also, I'm calling it right now, Blackwell and Graham are in cahoots. That's just my thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. Also, Wiley did his breakout for Maximum Security Prison in 7. There's no reason why Blackwell can't. And my final thought is I wonder if this previous plot from Blackwell is going to be covered in like that anime they're trying to make, or the cartoon, or whatever it was. I have wonders. Anywho, we finished the level, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Bye.